Hi everyone, welcome to Mama's Craft. Today we'll learn how to create a happy mask and a sad mask. The best thing is that they are effortless and quick to do. To make them we are going to download and print the templates. I printed on white paper cardboard. You have the templates link in the video description and in comments. There you can choose the size for your mask. And in case it's your first design you will be able to see how to cut the pieces and how to fold them. Here we already have our pieces ready to create. These are the pieces of the first two template pages since the first mask we'll make will be the happy mask. To start we'll add glue on the flaps of piece number one and glue it with piece number two. With only this we already have 20% of the mask ready. Now we'll join piece 3 with piece 4. With these pieces we'll shape the nose and cheeks of the mask. When we finish forming the figure we'll join it with the part that we previously created. So the eyes of the mask will be ready. With pieces 5 and 6 we are going to form the mouth. So before continuing we'll join the flaps that each piece has. Also cut the excesses that are formed in piece 5. And once we have these parts ready, we'll glue them and join them to the mask. I recommend you subscribe so you don't miss future designs. To finish creating this first mask we are going to join pieces 7, 8, and 9. Basically, we'll join them together and build a single piece. Then we'll glue it little by little around the mask until we finish creating it. This is how it would look, but we still need to create the sad mask. As we did with the previous mask, we'll join piece 1 with piece 2. Pieces 3 and 4 will also be joined in the same way to form the nose, and then join this part with the previous one. A difference can already be noticed in the eyes and cheeks of this mask. It looks sad. Piece 5 will be the mask's upper lip. So we'll shape this part and also trim the excess, so that it's a sad mask and not a sad Dracula mask. When finished we'll add this piece to the design. This mask has one less piece than the previous one, so these three will be the last ones. We'll shape part 8 and join it with the other two pieces in a similar way to the previous mask. Even the mask is excited because we almost finished it. We'll add glue on the flaps and join this big piece around the mask to finish creating it. Like the video if you like these two designs. To finish, we'll use two wool threads of approximately 30 centimeters. We'll make two holes on both sides of the masks with the tip of the scissors and at the end add a thread on each side. To finish, we'll make a knot in both to secure. And now we have our happy and sad mask ready. Remember that you can download any template from the channel without ads and support this content by joining Premium Momuscraft. Thank you very much for watching the video.